on the world. Joshua! I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. I never dared hope that I would see this day. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. Father. <laughs> 
The Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Done to call them off. I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Theon. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance! By the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not, the populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, Father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the Mother Crystals crumble one by one, and the Blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their Emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the Twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build! Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother.
He doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. Stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand. Mother. together. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. Genesis shall a new age of reason begin. Relax, Your Majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. 
If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos, and sever every one. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos, and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity, shall be done, Master. My will is yours. How is your brother? Asleep, since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all.
happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. See the pair that got pulled into tires. Ah, it's a dangerous world out. Better I'll be here. Uh... Trouble with your gear, or so will it be? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Tell me you saw that. What are you making them skies then? No one is what? Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All yours. Look out there, Sid.
Otto, how fares the realm? The realm? As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav? He's with your uncle in the Free Cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any good news? Well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme until those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. <laughs>